Hello, patrons of the Oregsburg Library. Today we're going to read a very different book called A Garden in Your Belly, Meet the Microbes in Your Gut. And this is going to be part of our summer reading. Inside you flows a great river with many folds and turns. If you stretch this river into a straight line, it would be 10 times as tall as you are. The river is your intestines. It nourishes a garden in your belly full of life and wonder called the microbiome. This garden is so small, you can't see it unless you have a big microscope, but it's so big that if you lined up all of its tiny living organisms end to end, they would reach the moon. Where does your garden come from, you might ask? You got the first seeds when you were born. You collect more microbial sprouts by breathing, touching, eating, and playing. You get new microbes from your dog, from your best friend, from the ground underfoot, from food, and even from books. But no one on earth has a garden exactly like yours. What's it doing in there, you might ask? Blooming, of course, and making you. Your microorganisms come in many forms. Some are simple, some are fancy, some are friendly, and some are not. Some kinds have existed for a million years. Most microorganisms help your body to do the things it cannot do by itself. They protect you and the river every minute they're awake. This guy says, yes, we sleep too, but not very often. As food passes through the river, each kind of critter has a different job to do. The more variety your garden has, the better. Your microbes harvest what they need to create energy and to fight germs. They also grow more microbes like themselves. So many different ones. Your garden microorganisms put out fires and take the garbage out. Sometimes they have an adventures and encounter strangers. They can even influence your thoughts and feelings. Ugh, these guys seem tired. Some of your microbes are connected to nervousness. They can make you feel like a restless butterfly. Other critters are laid back, making you feel like a lotus floating on a pond. Your microorganisms send you messages by adding froggy gurgles to the river when they want fertilizer to help them grow strong. They can make a beastly growl when you feed them something they don't like. Have you ever had your belly go blah, 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 blah? Mine does. But can you talk to them? You can't talk to them directly, but when you're playing outside, breathing fresh air and drinking lots of water, the microbes know and they are happy. Doing these things is like sending care packages down the river to keep them strong. After all, every garden needs attention and love. If your garden critters get too hungry because you forgot to send them healthy food, they get weak. Then the bad microbes can move into the garden like weeds. Bad microbes produce toxins that get in the river. Your garden doesn't like pollution. In the river, in the air, anywhere. Pollution makes the garden weak, which means the weeds can move in and overpower your protectors. What do the weeds like? Well, they like sweets, junk food. Yes, indeed they do. All of those things. Just as the good guys can talk to you, the bad guys can too. They don't mind sending you messages to control your brain. If you only eat junk food, the next thing you know, you don't care for veggies and fruits or jumping and moving. You might even feel sick. That's when it's time to go back, grow back your protectors. Your protectors need some help in that situation. How do you grow your protectors and take care of them? Well, it's very easy. You feed them. Do you feed them sweets and junk food? No, give me some fruit and yogurt and nuts and veggies. What do the good guys in your garden like? Remember, fruit, yogurt, nuts, and veggies. Take good care of your garden and it will always have your back and belly and heart and head and all of you. And this is just some explanations about microbes. 
We're not going to go through that today because our story is at an end. But if you are very much interested in the science of your body, we have so many cool books here at the library. So bring your favorite adult a library card and we can find a book that will interest you, I am sure. Have a great day and keep going with summer reading. We're halfway through.